Excellent. What's up guys, welcome back. I think this is my first video that's actually more about computers than home remodels in quite some time. So thanks for bearing with me. I do have some personal updates that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later in the video, but the main purpose of this video is what you can do right now to help out with the current global situation, the pandemic. Coronavirus is pretty much everywhere and it's affecting everyone's daily lives. And apart from the good advice that hopefully you have been taking, such as washing your hands all the time, being aware of transmission vectors, staying the F home and not going out and making yourself more of a risk to others, what more can be done besides sitting at home, playing video games, biding your time and hoping no more horrible news comes out? My answer for today, and this is not the first time a video has been made on this, is folding at home. So I'm on the folding at home web website which is foldingathome.org, and I'm going to be installing this and running this in order to help with the COVID-19 outbreak. They have a separate page just on that where you can read up a little bit more on what folding is, what it does, how it, is, how it uses your computer to help. The short version is that simulations of protein folding are very compute intensive, so Folding at Home is a distributed compute platform. You download the client, they send you a workload, and then your CPU and or GPUs crunch those numbers and then send the results back to the Folding at Home servers, and they basically simulate a bunch of different possible simulations for how proteins fold to help aid in finding a vaccine or a cure. Getting yourself up and running is fairly easy. All you need is a functional computer with access to the internet and go to their website and click on the start folding in the top. Uh, you're gonna download the Windows client, which is available right here. I will click on that. You can then just go ahead and launch the installer. You're gonna run through some pretty standard uh, program installation uh, wizardry stuff here. And then you can just let it start folding at home once you click finish. And uh, I believe this is going, yes, so this is gonna launch in a browser window. You're also gonna wanna give it access through your firewall. And here you can go ahead and just fold anonymously or you can set up an identity. There are teams and there's a little bit of friendly rivalry going on. So I'm gonna set up an identity and then I will join a team. Now I could of course make my own team, but I don't, I'm not really feeling bold enough to do that. I'm gonna join one of the many PC gaming enthusiast teams that are out there. There's one from the PC Master Race. Linus Tech has a really popular one. EVGA has one too. I did a quick Twitter poll and uh, Linus Tech appears to be leading right now, but of course he's sort of the big name in the game. And then I have a bunch of other people who have suggested other teams that I might join. There's an Aorus Gaming Community, Hardware Connects. Apparently Gamers Nexus has set up a team recently. Barnacles has one. And look how nice of Dave to go ahead and list the uh, numbers for all the teams right here. Apparently Hardware Connects team has been going for quite some time. Gosh, this is a tough decision to make. Okay, I might change this, but just because I need to make a call right now and they are overwhelmingly winning the poll, I'm gonna join the Linus Tech Tips team. And of course you can change this in the future if you want. Now you have the option to do an email verification. Uh, just click the get a pass key. You can give your email address. They send you a pass key. You enter it here. That prevents people from pretending they're you or stealing your work units. So I'm just gonna punch my passkey in there now and check it out, there it goes. Basically it's automatic and the web interface here will tell you what you're doing and how you're doing it. Now, the COVID-19 folding efforts have been placed at the top of the queue right now. So all you need to do is make sure you're set to any disease. Of course, you can also fold for other diseases as well, which is awesome, but I think the main global need right now is for COVID-19. And then if you wanna do a little bit more with the client, uh, go down into your system tray and right click on the folding at home icon and go to advanced control. That will bring up this little interface where you can check out some more stuff and see the workloads going on. And again, if you wanna make sure you're folding for COVID-19, go to the configure box here, go over to advanced, and make sure this cause preference is set to any. Now the Folding at Home application is gonna use your computer and basically it's going to be using power, more power than if your computer was sitting idle. So that is the main thing that you need to take into consideration if you wanna set up folding on any of the systems you have. Now the system I've installed this on has a 10 core 6950X CPU and a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti for the GPU. And you can see them individually here in the web interface. But uh, if you wanna control a little bit how folding at home works for your system in particular, you can adjust the power slider right here. So full power means it's gonna use as much power as possible. Medium, kind of in between, and go light if you're planning on using your computer for other stuff. Or if you want the system to do folding, but only when you're idle, 
we'll just click the only when idle option. That way, if you start actually using your computer for something, it will shut down the folding, uh, and then it'll start it back up once you switch back to idle. You also have a big red stop folding button right here, so if something's gone wrong, if you're overheating or anything like that, you can just turn it off immediately. It's also worth pointing out in the advanced control interface here, you can right click on stuff like the CPU and pause it. So if you only want the CPU to fold or you only want your GPU to fold, you can pause one or the other of those and let the other continue to work. And you can also individually set the CPU or GPU to only work when on idle as well. I think the only other thing I should point out about this is that it's gained a lot of popularity recently, thanks to several other people who have posted videos on the subject, including Linus, which means that the folding at home servers are at times having difficulty issuing workloads to their client computers. And apparently also the folding clients are having issues sending the results back to the folding at home servers once they're done with a workload. On the whole, that is a good thing. And according to this PC Gamer article, which I'll link in the description if you want to read it, uh, it's crunching data twice as fast now as the top supercomputer in the world. And they've jumped from something like 30,000 uh, regular folders to north of 400,000 or more at this point. So just remember to be patient. The Folding at Home team is working to meet the demand from all the folders who have decided to offer their local computers to contribute to this effort. And a huge thank you to you guys and everyone who has done this as well. One word of warning, and this is reiterated in the PC Gamer article, is that there's a lot of misinformation going on out there. And unfortunately, there are also uh, rogue clients out there. So make sure you're downloading from the right place. That's foldingathome.org. Don't download any weird clients from anywhere else because apparently there are stupid people who have tried to take advantage of this situation by creating versions of the client that have viruses. Just go to that website and I will link that in the description as well. And that is a basic walkthrough for getting Folding at Home up and running on just about any computer. Oh, I think the last thing I wanted to point out is there is an option for battery power because you can install this on a laptop, for example. So check that out in the advanced options too if you're installing this on a laptop. That said, uh, I am sick, if you can't tell. It is a really unfortunate time to be sick. And I should point out, there's a lot of people who are in much more dire circumstances than I am, but the trifecta of things affecting our daily life right now are, of course, COVID-19. Second, our remodel, which is currently on pause. We almost got to the point where we had a functional kitchen, but not quite. Fortunately, we have floors and some cabinets in and everything like that, so it's not as much of like trying to live in a work zone as it was before. We're getting by, we're hoping work can resume soon, but then of course there's that third thing, which is sickness. My wife actually got sick before the work started. For anyone right now who is just sort of a more normal sick as opposed to the COVID-19 stuff, it's just a kind of an even worse situation than just typically being sick because you're going around, you're coughing. I've been coughing a lot. I've been having to suppress them or hopefully edit them out of this video. And I think for us, if it was like two of these three things, it would be much more easy to deal with. But fortunately, I think things have settled down a little bit right now. We've gotten a few of our regular routines back now so we can have breakfast in the morning. My wife is working from home. And then the final thing is we don't really have any childcare right now. So that's also affecting my ability to post many videos. So I hope this one has brought more attention to Folding at Home for those of you who weren't already aware. For those of you who do have the spare compute resources, the spare electricity to contribute toward this effort, I think it's a very important and I really, really thank you guys for doing that. Again, relevant links are down in the video's description. For my parts, even though I probably don't sound it right now, I'm actually doing much better this week than I was earlier in the week or last week. And I am in a situation where I typically work from home, so I do have the ability to make videos as long as I can talk and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll be getting back to more of a regular launch schedule too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video though. Feel free to share it if you know anyone who you think might be able to contribute towards this effort. Thanks for bearing with me during this difficult time. I hope all of you are staying safe, staying healthy. Everyone stay inside, wash your hands, and remember to do fun stuff from time to time. That's important too. We're gonna try to play some video games tonight. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you next time.